two or three years ago when this movement started to go along, a lot of the institutions that we visited said, well, it's just easy. You know, I call my local wholesaler and the truck stops off every week and I get my products and I don't know where to go to get local products. So we've tried to help bridge that gap through communications and now those people that are still sort of sitting in the back room, we can hold up Union Hospital and say, look, they did it. They figured it out. They have a process that we all can use, you know, to get more local products into your institution. Our producers are now seeing the opportunity. They're expanding their operations to meet those needs. Uh, the buy local movement and this consumer design, demand is going to create an opportunity, especially for our young farmers. And for those that don't have large operations, you know, traditional family farms that have been in operation forever, it provides an opportunity for people to get into agriculture with a, small, a smaller capital outlay than it would take for a large grain farm or dairy. Farmers and growers welcoming new farmers and growers. And uh, we work with the state of Maryland Department of Agriculture very closely with that. We are listed in the buyer grower directory that they publish and that uh, lists the, the foods that we are looking for. We try to save as much as we can for stock or, and for other purposes on the menu. Uh, you know, the neck, the giblets, we'll save them and we wait until we get um, you know, a large enough quantity and then we break it down um, with mirepoix and, and stuff like that and, and make our, uh, our broths.